Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 27. That is, what is regression testing? Let me answer. Regression testing, in simple words, is nothing but the testing performed to check whether any side effects got introduced in existing working functionalities of the software when the developer has done some code changes. Why the developer has to do the code changes? You see, developer has to fix the bugs. Okay, when the developer fix the bugs, the code changes will happen, right, automatically. When the developer adds new functionalities or features to the software, existing software, then also developer has to touch the code and change the code. Otherwise, it's not possible. While developer updates the, okay, while developer updates the existing functionalities of the software, then also the code changes will happen. Not only that, guys, for feature enhancement also, when developer is uh, trying to enhance the existing functionalities of the software, okay, in the existing software, then also the developer has to introduce the code changes. Due to these code changes, the existing working functionalities of the software may get affected, guys, okay? There may be some side effects may get introduced because of these code changes done by the developer in the existing working functionalities of the software. Uh, to check that, okay, to check that we perform regression testing. For example, guys, for example, if I take you to this application, okay, so if I take you to this application, let's say let's go to the login page or something, some, some, any functionality on this application, just go guys. Let's say, let's say today, today, this, uh, when I try to log in to the application with valid credentials or something, you click on the login button, you see, it's able to log in. So what happened uh, after that is, today it was working fine. The, this, this particular functionality, login functionality of the software is working perfectly fine, let's say. Tomorrow what happened is, developer has done some code changes where he uh, has updated the code, okay? He modified the code for this forgotten password, okay? This particular forgotten password related code, he modified. Before modifying this code, the application functionality was working fine, okay? Login functionality was working perfectly fine, but once, the developer has fixed the defect regarding this forgotten password or he has enhanced this functionality or he updated the functionality, whatever may be the reasons, guys, okay? Whatever may be the reasons, because of this code change, okay? Because of this uh, uh, change in this forgotten password functionality, the code changes happened in the software. Because of that, tomorrow, this login functionality may or may not work, we don't know. Today, this functionality is login functionality is working, but tomorrow we don't know whether this login functionality will work after doing the code changes on this particular forgotten password functionality by the developers. To overcome this problem, you see, to overcome this problem, we cannot assume that, right, uh, login functionality work tomorrow, because after this code changes, it may or may not work. To confirm that, to check that, whether the login functionality is still working fine, even after the code changes happened in the application, we perform which type of testing? Regression testing, okay? Here, we are not going to test only the login functionality, for this small code change that happened in the forgotten password functionality, we have to check the login functionality, we have to check the register functionality, we have to check the search function, a complete application functionality we have to test again from start to end, okay? For small change that happens in the application, you cannot believe any functionality which is working earlier may be working now because the code base has been changed, okay? Code has been touched by the developer. That means we have to repeat our testing. All the existing working functionalities may or may not work, not only login, these uh, all the existing functionalities which are working earlier may not work now, guys, okay? We have to test all the functionalities which are working earlier to see if any side effects got introduced in the existing working functionalities of the software when the code changes happened in, code changes happened in one of the areas of the application, okay? So that's what is regression testing, guys. That's what is regression testing. But the problem with the regression testing is we have to perform it very often, guys, okay? We have to oftenly perform the regression testing. Very frequently, we have to perform the regression testing. Why? Because developer keep on changing the code, okay? That's the job of the developers, right? Every day, they keep on changing the code. Every time they change the code, they give you a new software build for testing. Every time they give you a new software application build for testing, we have to perform the entire regression testing. That means we have to execute the entire test cases, right? We have to run our test cases from start to end, guys. If we have Hundreds of test cases, all the hundreds of test cases need to be executed from starting to end. So is it possible to, sometimes? No, guys, we'll not get so much of time to test the entire test cases every time, right? For every small change in the application code, okay, and a new build has been given for testing, every time performing regression testing, time may not be available with the testers, guys, okay? Within one day, we cannot do the entire regression testing, right, of all the application working functionalities of the application. 
So what is the solution then? How can we run all the test cases for each and every build software application build given by the developers because code changes happened? Okay, how can we perform the regression testing from start to end on every application build of the software? That is not possible guys. Okay, so to overcome that problem, we have to automate the regression testing. Okay, to save time to save time. We have to automate this regression testing. So automation tool has to perform the regression testing on behalf of the tester. Okay, not in small projects in larger projects. Okay, there are projects which are taking uh, more than in uh, six months or one year or something right in that kind of projects. Okay, where the duration of the project is more than one year or something such kind of larger projects. We automate the regression testing based on the based on uh, the calculation on uh, return on investment and all of automation. We we actually automate the regression tests. Okay, we automate the regression tests and automation tool will take care whether any side effects got introduced in the existing working functionalities of the software when any code changes happen in the application or done by the developers. Okay, because developers keep on changing the code and they keep on giving you the application builds every time performing regression testing from start to end using the test cases manually is not possible guys. Okay, so in the kind of pro uh, projects where you have the scope to automate the Test, you can automate this regression test case. Okay, mainly automation tools are meant for automating the regression testing only. Okay, that's the main purpose of the automation, guys. Okay, to automate the regression testing. That much importance regression test has in automation, guys. It will save a lot of time if you automate the regression test. So here, guys, uh, in Agile, nowadays uh, all the projects are based on Agile, right? Uh, they are following Agile uh, SGLC model, where uh, one of the methodology like SG, uh, this uh, Scrum methodology is being used in, where you you know, right? Sprint duration will be only uh, just uh, one or two or three or four max four weeks. Okay, generally ideally it will be two weeks guys. Okay, every sprint duration will be two weeks. That is only 10 working days. Okay, that will be only 10 working days guys. in 10 working days. Can you perform the entire regression testing? If you perform keep on performing the regression testing guys. Okay, in every sprint lot of stories will come lot of requirements uh, will come where developers will work on them and uh, you know, right uh, give you the builds so Will you get time to focus on that uh, new stories or requirements that are implemented by the developers? Can you test them? It, it will not be possible if you focus on the regression testing. That's why in agile projects. Regression testing is generally automated guys. Okay, by default it will be automated. Okay, agile is generally suited for suitable for larger projects and so from the day one of the project they keep on automating the regression test and because in agile Testers won't get much time guys. Okay, just 10 working days in the 10 working days. If the developer has taken six working days and remaining four working days, you have to perform testing. Assume guys. Okay, if you if you are focusing on regression testing, when you will test the stories and all those stuff, that is not possible at all, right? So to overcome that problem in agile, especially in agile guys, we automate the regression test. Okay, that will save our time and the testers can focus on the stories and newly introduced things as part of the particular sprint. Okay, agile sprint or agile scrum sprint. Okay, fine. So hope guys you understood what exactly is regression testing now. Okay, so this is what is regression testing guys. Finally, just to conclude in simple words regression testing is performed to check whether any side effects got introduced in the existing working functionalities of the software when developer has done some code changes in the application software because of this bug fixes or new features or developers may have enhanced the existing features or Developers have updated the existing because of any of these reasons code changes will happen and that may introduce some side effects in the existing working functionalities of the software to check whether any side effects got introduced in the existing working functionalities of the software. We perform regression testing. So hope guys uh, you understood this regression testing now. That's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer the next uh, software testing interview question for you till then. See you. Bye.